Hey guys, I am super pumped for this video. Yes. And I think you're going to love it too. So this is a cool trick that I stumbled upon a couple-ish years ago. Um, and I wanted to share it with all of you because I haven't seen a lot of information out there on this. I don't know if you know this already. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. Let me know in the comments. But basically... What I'm going to share with you is that LinkedIn is one of the only social media profiles that you can actually extract all of the information from. So you can't do it with Facebook, um, Instagram, anything like that. But with LinkedIn, you can actually export all of your connections and upload it to your database. So for many of us who have spent the last couple years building up our LinkedIn profile, connecting with people, you know, business relationships, things like that, you're going to be able to use all that great data that you've gained over the past couple years. So hopefully that's you. If you don't have a LinkedIn account, <clears throat> then this isn't going to help you right now, but I would say get off this video, girl, get on LinkedIn and start connecting with people because you're really missing out on a great opportunity. So back to what we're going to do. So like I mentioned, LinkedIn is one of the only platforms you can export the contact. So I'm going to show you very quickly and easily how you can do that. And again, if you're like me, where you've been on LinkedIn for a while, you have, you know, maybe a couple hundred or a thousand contacts there, you can use all of that great information in your marketing now. So let me show you how to do it real quick. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is log into your LinkedIn account. So you can see I'm already logged in, um, Kat Cobbs F. If you're not connected with me on LinkedIn, feel free to go there and connect with me. I would love to uh, chat with you there. But anyway, so you'll see I'm, I'm here. I'm in my page. Now, there's probably a better way to do this, but I haven't been able to found, find it yet. So the quickest and easiest way that I've been able to do this, and I'll share this link with you, is to just Google, after I'm already logged in in a separate window, like export contacts from LinkedIn, and you'll find a link to this page, which is linkedin.com slash people slash export or you can just click on this link, which I'm gonna include with the video. Um, and basically it'll take you to this page. The reason why you wanna be logged in already is so that it's already set up to export. And then you just um, pick the file type you want. I'm gonna do a CSV Microsoft Outlook file because that is an easy file for me to upload into my MailChimp account. So if you have MailChimp, you probably wanna choose this option. And then you're gonna hit export, simple as that. So, my connections were are now downloaded and exported. Um, it might make you walk through some weird, annoying security feature to make sure you're a human. Um, I already did that in my last video, which I messed up on, so you're not gonna see that here, but just go through that process and then it'll automatically download. And then you're just going to click the file, which will take you to a nice, pretty Excel or number sheet, if you've got a Mac, like this. And basically, boom, there you have it, all of your contacts. You got first name, last name, email address, uh, the company they work at, the job title, any of the information that LinkedIn captures, you are gonna now have access to. And you can easily just kind of clean this Excel sheet up a little bit and upload it straight to your contacts. Okay, so seriously, how simple was that? So again, if you're anything like me, that's gonna really help grow your database very quickly. Now, I do wanna share a couple pieces of information that I think will help you a little bit. So these contacts that you've now added to your database from LinkedIn are basically like cold leads. So they don't know how they got on your list, they don't know why you got access to their email address, and it may be a personal email address that they're using for LinkedIn that they don't give out to a lot of people. So a word of advice would be to make sure that you don't just start blasting these people with emails. Really try to nurture them from the get-go so that they know kind of like who you are, how they got on your list, and they're not completely pissed that you jacked their information. So what I like to do is throw those emails into a quick nurture campaign and just serve them a couple of emails over the course of you know the first couple months just kind of saying, hey, here's who I am, here's what I do, um, here's some valuable information that I think will help you. I found, you know, you got on this list because we're connected on LinkedIn and, you know, I really hope that you choose to stay with me, but if not, you always have the option to unsubscribe. But um, again, I'm here to provide value. That's what I do. So I hope you go on this journey with me. So say, you know, something of that nature, give them an email to kind of warm up the lead a little bit so that it doesn't affect your 
like for example if you're on MailChimp you get you get a little rating if a bunch of people mark it as spam or unsubscribe so you don't want to you don't want to have that happen which it hasn't been a huge problem for me but again that's because I'm not going out and emailing these these cold leads with like hard sell emails so don't do that um, but nurture the relationship and then I think over time you will see that some of these contacts will actually become some really connected um, advocates or turn into customers for you which has happened for me so I uh, hope this video helps if you liked it and found the information useful like my video please and feel free to subscribe I will be sharing other digital marketing tips with you on a weekly basis so I look forward to staying connected with you